Hi everyone, I'm Alex Roy, realtor and trusted local expert in Eastside Portland, here today with Diane Plessett, designer extraordinaire and author of the book, The Survival Guide, Home Remodeling, here with part one in our series on interior design. So to begin, Diane, we are in the home of one of your great projects. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about it? Oh, yes, yes. I was very lucky. We attended a special event at the Gordon House, which is a Frank Lloyd Wright home yes. in Silverton, okay? And we met the homeowners, discovered that they are fans of Frank Lloyd Wright, too, and they were thinking about remodeling their kitchen. That's wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. So we met, and they told me what they wanted, and we proceeded, they hired me, and mm -hmm. we proceeded to transform their 1970s kitchen into a Japanese-influenced contemporary kitchen. Excellent. And right now you can see some of the photos of the end product here, but let's talk about where it started. 70s, I'm imagining... Orange was there. Was orange there? There, there was there was orange, yes. <laughs> but most importantly, the ceiling was one of these luminous ceilings with mm -hmm. fluorescent lighting, mm -hmm. and the color scheme was awful. They had laminate cabinets with the finger pulls that you remember. Yes, the oak absolutely. Finger pulls. Okay, this pass through, as a matter of right here, okay. used to be a doorway. Wow. And that was definitely needed of closing off. This this seems so natural, like it was always intended to be here. That's the way I like to design. Mm -hmm. So that when it's finished, it looks like it was meant to be part of the house originally. Excellent. And it gave the homeowners a lot more countertop space and a place to pass food through to the dining room. I love it. That's a great idea. That's, that's what a designer does. It brings in these ideas just like that. And it's the only one I've ever done in 33 years. Really? Because the needs of the homeowners drive the project. That's right. Every project is so very unique. That's right. And that's what I love about what I do. Excellent. Yeah. So, looking at this kitchen, it's just a fabulous job with great taste, but I want to know from your perspective as a designer, what did you love about this project? The homeowners. Yeah? Yeah. So much personality. Mm. and so intelligent and asking good questions and replying honestly it was just a great relationship from day one and i love working with people who are real wow that is so wonderful and unique it's refreshing because usually when i think about remodeling i'm thinking about hiring this general contractor and i'm going to tell them what it is and they're very uh, I guess for lack of a better word, left brain, they're just going to take in what you said and do it exact, but a designer is quite a bit different than this. You're, exactly. a, you're a people person, aren't you? Exactly, exactly. And that's what really makes it special, is reading people, and I don't take notes very often at the first meeting, mm -hmm. because I'd much rather make eye contact, watch their body English, yeah. and see how they respond to my questions. Excellent, yeah. To, kind of like a doctor, to yeah. really get at the root of exactly. what's driving this. Exactly, cool. exactly. So with any project, I'm sure there are challenges oh, yes. that you've got to overcome. What yes. were some challenges with uh, this kitchen remodel? Well, the homeowners wanted to have, they, they had an island, and it had cabinets over it, and those cabinets were eye puncture. <laughs> they had sharp edges. Okay? Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, literally. Literally. Okay, literally. Yeah. literally. And so what they wanted to do is take out all those wall cabinets mm -hmm. and replace it with a hood. Now, they had a downdraft, mm -hmm. which worked just fine. Okay. Yeah. You know yeah. what a downdraft is. Well, maybe tell me a okay. bit more. Yeah. It sucks. Instead of everything rising up, it goes down. It sucked down. Oh, really? And out. Yes. Oh, neat. I yeah. actually haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah. yeah. Often people call them a Gen Air, but... Yes. There are other models besides there we go. dinner. You bet. So what we had to do to put a hood in and place the island appropriately was to measure where the ceiling joists are. I see, yes. Because the duct had to go through a bay between the ceiling joists. Right, because we can't disturb those ceiling joists. No, well, you can, but it's pretty expensive. There you go. Yeah. The challenge thus is right yeah, there to overcome. Yeah. Great. And then maintaining a four-foot walkway. Mm. This is what the National Kitchen and Bath Association recommends, is if you're going to have major walkway in a kitchen, mm -hmm. you should try to maintain 
four feet, if you can, between counter edge and counter edge. Right, so if we're installing an island, maintain that four feet between the island and the main wall counter. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So the original kitchen, the island was pulled forward so the refrigerator door and the oven door hit the island. Oh my good, classic design mistake. Exactly. And you say, who designed this? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So when I do my designs, mm -hmm. I always show the appliance doors open. Ah, it, it shows, demonstrates right there. This can open all the way with my design. And people have room to get past or to stand in front of an oven or a refrigerator with the doors open. Wonderful. Which a kitchen should both be beautiful, but it's got to be functional. Function first, safety first, then aesthetics. I like it. I love it. <laughs> and if we can cross those two off, we will get to great aesthetics. Yes. Awesome. Yes. yes. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in uh, Eastside Portland, reminding you that you can get Diane's book, A Survival Guide, Home Remodeling, on Amazon. So look it up today. It's a great book. And if you're wondering how much your home is worth, don't forget, you can just call or email me to schedule your free home pricing evaluation, something I love to do for anyone who's thinking of selling. Catch you later.